What's up guys, Politics Gaming here, and today we are going on with episode 24 of the United States. Um, last time we really did a little bit of policy making, um, but one major thing that happened, Spain and Morocco went to war. Um, I am pretty conflicted on how I am going to deal with the situation. We have a navy uh, dispatched off of the coast of Morocco. Um, I do not know if we're going to get involved. I think I'm going to do a little bit more policy, but, uh, recent news, Turkey has joined the war. Um, Turkey, um, which we are going to begin season two just after we end this series. Um, they are joining the war, um, and that is, uh, something we are going to have to deal with. <sighs> um... <laughs> Morocco is the one of the oldest allies of the United States, and uh, in 1778, I believe, um, the Moroccan government um, recognized the United States and was the first nation to recognize the uh, United States as a as a uh, sovereign nation during the uh, the Revolutionary War in which America gained its independence from Great Britain. Um, anyway. We are going to launch a counterterrorism operation against um, against Argentina, and um, we need to build a strategy because uh, we have military bases in Spain. We cannot stay neutral, um, no matter how much I want to stay neutral. Um, it is threatening the national security of our bases, our men, and our naval fleet assembled across, um, in near Morocco and our naval base as well which we have 58 commandos that are uh, sitting in uh, in in uh, Mer uh, Spain so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and come over here we have already broken all diplomatic relations with uh, Morocco um, let's go ahead and check we have 41,000 casualties in uh, the Moroccan side and 26,000 casualties from uh, the uh, Spanish side. They have 116,000 current troops that are assembled um, and in active duty right now. They have 25,000 out of combat, um, 39,000 out of combat for the Moroccans, and 161,000 active troops. So, we have several options. Um... We can either defend the territory of one of the two warring parties, go to war with, and attack one of the two warring parties, or declare war on one of the two warring parties. <laughs> um. I, okay, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Um, declare war on one of the two warring parties. We're going to get involved and launch... Uh, collective strikes against the Moroccan government. We are going to go ahead and launch attacks on their military bases. And let's go ahead and play. We are not going to invade at this moment, um, but we are wanting to assemble task force. End of the wall. United States declares war on Morocco. Hurricane. Um, United States and Morocco. So we have the United States, Turkey, Spain, Italy, and France that are going against Morocco right now. We have a united NATO coalition. Um, actually, this is where we're going to... Oh, wrong one. Um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and take out their military bases, their Air Force, Air Force bases. We're going to disable their air bases. Um, we are going to vote against military intervention against uh, Spain. I think we're going to go ahead and meet with the United Kingdom. We're going to see if we can, if there's an option to get them into war, um, and possibly Canada to to broaden a NATO coalition. Uh, we have disabled one military base. 
we are going to go ahead and launch more strikes against uh, the Moroccan Air Force. And we are going to continue an operation to disable their... Um... Okay, we have uh, voted against the Moroccan initiative to authorize military intervention against Spain. Um, we had eight pro, one against, and six abstaining. Um, if you do not know what this means... Um, the United Nations Security Council has um, several members that are permanent members, and their power is basically to um, decide how it goes. If one permanent member, which is the United States, France, United Kingdom, China, and Russia, if one of them votes against a resolution, that resolution goes down. It stops. It cannot get passed. So I voted against it, and... Luckily, it's not going to get passed. Um, we are going to launch another airstrike against their uh, air force. And um, naval bombardments are proceeding. We're going to go ahead and use these uh, naval submarines. And we are going to launch an attack against their troops that are moving into Spain. Um, we want to block any and all military invasion of Spain and keep them far away from our bases as well. Um, what we can do is... We need to get a satellite here because we need to um, get military intelligence on um, what cities that we can enter because um, I, th I think the main goal... What we can do is that we can launch um, we can attack one of their uh, bases or cities and then we can um, use that as a base we can set up some camps and then we can ultimately get that into the um, attack on our rebat which is the capital of morocco um, but for now, we are going to want, we are going to allocate um, about twenty. How much? How many? How many people is this? You can't even move those. Shut up. Uh, about to what twenty thousand troops uh, into Spain. Okay, that was, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, let you resign, but immediately we need to appoint a new Secretary of Defense. We need one, especially in the case that we are going to war. Um, so we are going to ask you, um, you're not that moral, so we're definitely not going to make you the Secretary of Defense. Um, still not that moral. Man, I'm not finding a lot of moral characters. Uh, what about you? 81. God, these, the Republican Party is just not that moral. Huh, ironic. Okay, um, you have attracted to the head of state. Ha ha. Good loyalty, good morality. We're going to make you the Secretary of Defense. So we have troops on the way. Um, the Moroccans have actually entered into the Canary Islands. Um, fun fact, the Canary Islands actually have a, um, a volcano um, that, um, if it actually blows up, um, then it would take out the entire west or uh, east coast of the United States. It would produce like an entire tsunami because the the explosion would be so massive that uh, it would um, send a tsunami like hundreds of meters high uh, into the ocean. Um, anyway, we are going to move you back into Moroccan waters. I always almost say Spanish. Uh, we are going to... We have an assassination. Um, we are going to continue airstrikes on... Uh, 
um, military bases. We need to soften up their military to allow us allow us actually to uh, uh, send a formidable uh, task force into the region. Uh, we have all right. Um, it does look like that we are entering a new stage in the war. Um, we have the Battle of the Santa Cruz Island, or actually the city of Santa Cruz right now. Um, it does look like that the Canary Islands will fall to Morocco. Um, I don't know really about liberating uh, the Canary Islands, um, but w my plan right now um, is to um, launch a force into... Uh, into the country and take it over and then uh really just uh, looks like that we cannot um do anything with uh making the united kingdom join a war um no it looks like serbia is doing something good for once all right um we're going to continue our naval strikes um We're going to go ahead and launch in a strike against uh, those. That naval base right there, our uh, submarine is going to soften up uh, seaborne targets. And then, um, looks like uh, targets, uh, this uh, little base right here is uh, being softened up as well. Uh, let's go ahead and check these. They have about 226 soldiers. Um, looks like, I mean, they have 7,500 soldiers in this city right here. This one kind of looks like a good foothold, um, but they would quickly be reinforced by about, uh, 7,500 troops from, uh, from this town right here, Tenja. Um... No, we're not gonna launch a, uh operation um i am really reluctant on uh, sending helicopters into the battle um but we are going to launch a drone and uh conduct some surveillance on uh these military and on these military bases and we are going to go ahead and collect some intel to see what we can do against them Um, all right, 146 troops. So we are going to go ahead and launch a um, missile strike against this military base, and we're going to go ahead and take out those troops. We have a Italian aircraft carrier joining the fight. Report on war with Morocco. Um, Moroccan ships continue to be sunk. Oh my god, we have a Spanish cruise ship actually going along the uh, war. The um, strait, this is actually a heavily contested strait. Lots of trade lanes go in through here. Um, I... I could actually speculate that um, the international trade is being he affected heavily, um, especially trade from uh, from Egypt, um, Turkey, Greece, Italy, um, unless they're using the Suez Canal. But um, trading to Italy, we can we basically what we're not going to be able to do for a while now is actually be trading with uh, Italy, uh, Greece, and Turkey and Israel especially. Um, looks like we um, set a new price, so we are going to come over here actually. Cut aid. 
And then... Prohibition on Residents. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and... Actually, no. I, th I think I'm actually gonna do that to North Korea. Uh, Repatriate our Nationals. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and repatriate. No citizens can go ahead and enter um, the nation. We're gonna go ahead and see what kind of approval um, that did. Um, looks like people like that. Okay, we have we have uh, lots and lots of uh, naval units in the area. We're going to. Um, where is our cruiser, actually? Oh, no. We need to get these cruisers back. Okay, we have sunk, um, those ships. And we're going to go ahead and redeploy these, uh, destroyers to the area. Actually, cruisers, I, I mean, they, they, I mean, look at them. Look at it. Look, look at that. It looks like an Arleigh Burke class destroyer. So I'm just going to call it a destroyer. Um, we are going to go ahead and engage uh, 1,400 troops. And we have more troops trying to deploy. Have lots... Ooh, boy. We have a massive battle culminating in the uh, Canary Islands. Um, we are going to go ahead and deploy... Uh, ships in here to protect the Canary Islands. We're going to deploy our nuclear submarines, and we're going to des deploy our um, our cruisers into the area. This is officially the Battle of the Canary Islands. Um, this looks like it's going to be a massive battle for the Canary Islands, and we are going to seek to liberate the Canary Islands, especially Santa Cruz. Um, I am kind of reluctant on using my own troops. I am waiting for Spanish to do that. The Spanish seem to be sending hundreds and hundreds of troops. It looks like they're sending a battalion of over a thousand troops into the area. Um, so it looks like they have control of the situation, but they, we have thousands of Moroccan troops heading into the area. Yeah, we have thousands and thousands of uh, Moroccan troops 15,000 Moroccan troops heading into the area, and um, it looks like they're seeking to occupy the area. Um, this may have been the uh, reason the the uh, war began. Um, possibly um, the Moroccans launched an attack, or they seeked, they uh, kept on telling Spain that we are going to take these islands. And so that is possibly um, the reason that Spain launched a preemptive strike, and we are going to go ahead and uh, support Spain in their efforts in protecting the Canary Islands. Um, there has been limited um, attempts to, limited and failed attempts to uh, take the Canary Islands. Um, well, actually, um, for uh, Moroccans troops to go into Spain, um, and they have done it unsuccessfully, and we have fended off any attack that has gone against uh, the uh, Spanish homeland, um, but we are continuing to defend it, and we are now deploying troops to the Canary Islands, where we will go ahead and support Spanish military operations in the area. <clears throat> So we are going to go ahead and launch an attack against this uh, ship right here. We're going to continue to make sure that um, our ships stay in the area. We're going to go ahead and then um, bend off any wave of attack that is threatening the Canary Islands. We have Spanish commandos heading into the area. Okay, come on. Take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out.
Come on, we have to take it out. They're about to take over Las Palmas. Come on, come on. Take it out, take it out. God, that is a that's a bit that's a group of about what ninety-two thousand uh Moroccan troops. Actually, that might actually be like half of their military. Um they have holy crap, we need to take them out now. Um Okay, Spain. We have heavy losses on both sides. Um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go over here. We're going to go to uh, arms embargoes. We're going to go ahead and uh, put sanctions against uh, against Morocco. Um, we are going to launch attacks against these. Um, hey, it looks like uh, we took out those tanks. No, you guys are moving back. We need you. Okay, our submarines are moving away. Okay. They have one tank moving into the island. We need to protect um, the Canary Islands, and especially Las Palmas. I believe this is the uh, battle of... Yeah, I mean, not even really the battle of Las Palmas, but this is a battle to fend off Moroccan forces. We need high-value targets. Oh, God. Huh. They took over the airbase. The airport. Hmm. Hopefully, uh, Spanish troops can move into the area and um, take back the islands. Because it looks like the islands are under Moroccan rule. Um... The Moroccan military is about 49,000 strong. Just a while ago, it was about um, 100,000 strong. So we are doing significant progress against the uh, Moroccans. And um, let's go ahead and check on the um, thing with Turkey. They have killed about 1,000 Moroccans and 8 Turkish uh, servicemen have died. Um, you know what? We are actually going to come over here. Let's actually um, assign Agent 001 to Morocco. See what happens. We need to take out their Chief of Staff. Um, and whenever we take out their Chief of Staff, we are going to be able to possibly... Um, decrease morale um, with their troops um okay it looks like they're focusing their efforts on um okay we're gonna leave a submarine in the area and then we're gonna go ahead and deploy our fleet back to Portuguese waters they're entering Portuguese waters Portugal is possible to get involved in a war and um, it looks like that they are intensifying their attacks on mainland mainland Spain. So we are going to deploy our uh, fleet to... Okay, actually, I just realized this. We have extra forces um, near in uh, Italy. So we are going to go ahead and deploy our forces. We have... A naval base they would have to circle all the way around um we're gonna go ahead and let you guys return a base um, we have air bases in Italy they don't have any jets they have fighters we can go ahead and start bombing runs um, from Italy we're gonna go ahead and take out this military base right here I honestly wish that this game actually had bombers, so you could like launch like B-52s from like all the way over here um, and have long range uh, bombing missions. 
Okay, you are going to go ahead and take care of these guys right here. Um, boom. Missiles are not that powerful. Um, we're going to go ahead and launch air missions. And then you are going to launch an attack against him. Nice. Two targets taken out. I'm going to go ahead and do a billion dollars. I usually don't understand what those things are, but... Um, looks like this is going to be the end of part one of the, the war against Morocco. I am going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to kind of do something different. I'm not going to go ahead and save this and stop. I'm going to continue this and then I'm going to release this episode, this next episode uh, on uh, Monday. So if you guys like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in episode 25.